Okay, starting off with these Halloween Jack a Lantern baubles, you're gonna need some Christmas baubles, black paint, and orange spray paint. I use white baubles just because it's easier to get the color transfer. Set yourself up an area with a broom and tape your baubles down so they don't get blown off or blown around by the spraying. Just a bit of painter's blue masking tape is perfect. Once they're all down, shake your spray paint really well. Also, it's a good idea to wear a rubber glove because otherwise you'll end up with paint all over your fingers. And spray so that you get a nice even coverage. It doesn't really matter if you miss a little bit, especially with a white bauble, because it'll just give a slight color gradient provided you've got enough of a coverage. I used Dulux for this just because it was the particular spray paint at the hardware that had the right colour I was looking for. You want to aim for about a foot away from what you're spraying so that you don't end up with dribbles. I got a little close a couple of times so there's some dribble marks but they're not overly noticeable. And then continue to spray through until you've covered the whole bauble. Then you'll have to leave those to dry for a little while, probably an hour or so. And once that's done, it's time to paint your faces on. For painting the faces, I got a black acrylic and a cheaper sort of brush because you don't want to be using expensive brushes on this it'll probably just end up ruined. You can use a enamel paint as well, but you may find you have difficulty getting it to stick to the surface with the spray paint. Make sure you've shaken your tin so that it's properly mixed, and don't overload your brush, otherwise your line work will be shot to hell. Now I'll show you up in the top corner here the face that we're painting on these baubles. And just take your time, nice and easy. Make sure you do your basic line work first. You want triangles for the eyes and sort of a chevron pattern for the nose. And with the teeth, follow the nose angle for the center of your top teeth and then draw out from the left there, and the right. And we'll just speed through this bit. You'll have to go over the work once or twice, just to make sure you've got a nice coverage and none of the orange is showing through, because that won't look great if it is. And there's a finished bauble. I was thinking about painting the tops green, but didn't bother. You can do that if you want. And here they all are, all lined up. So you can see what they look like together. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and share it around. I've also got links to Twitter and Tumblr in the link description below and feel free to leave a comment telling me if you enjoyed this video and if you tried it how you went. I'd love to see some photos on Twitter if you feel like it. Thanks so much for watching, bye!